Today I'm listening to Dimash Kudabergen sing Samal Tau. Keep watching. Hi everybody, it's Christy Bobie with The Voice Love Company. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell below so you don't miss a single video or when I go live. I'm now booking for my Fall 2020 Voice Session. Click on the link below and I will see you at your next private voice lesson. Details are in the description box below. Now let's get started. I was realizing it's been a while since I've done a Dimash Kudabergen reaction. I had one go up and then it was blocked, but as I was looking around I realized this is a new song that I didn't even know about and what caught my eye about it was Tokyo Jazz Festival 2020. So you had me at Dimash and you had me at Tokyo Jazz Festival. I am really excited to listen to this one today. Let's dig in. Is that a didgeridoo? Or a rain stick? Okay, gotta stop there. Whoa, I love this already. Oh my goodness. I love world music and indigenous music and these instruments that as an American I've never heard of or seen. Um, obviously the other guy has that, I thought it was a didgeridoo at first, but it's a giant rain stick, which is actually I think made out of a cactus maybe, um, dried and then it, stuff is inside of it. Anyway, this is so cool. I, I just, I, I literally have chills right now, anticipating what's getting ready to come. Okay, I've got to stop just to stay compliant. This is so compelling. This is eliciting an emotional response in me already. I love the dissonance of the chords that they're they're choosing. And now we've got, you know, time clicking in, maybe some sort of a, a recorded stem of some kind now. Let's get back in. So excited to hear what Dimash has to bring. Here we go. I'm so blown away by Dimash. How he continues to push himself artistically. I hope he feels fulfilled in what he's doing because as a listener, it is just thrilling to me to see this 
young man and his abilities just continue to blossom and grow. His voice is so beautiful. <laughs> Okay, stopping right there. What a gift. What a gift this singer is. Are you kidding me? Wow. Seriously. I just feel like I need to be quiet now. Oh my goodness. This is really moving. Very moving. Okay. Ugh. Let's keep going. Here we go. Did you hear it kind of go into a major? It went from kind of that minor into the major. So obviously we've got a change coming. Let's go back and listen to that again. So you can hear, and this is a musical technique. You go from a minor chord structure, which is sad sounding, maybe. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's one way to talk about minor chords. But then it goes into a major. Here we go, here's minor. Okay, so it's all of that is minor, then he goes and it, it goes into the major right there. So now we're going into a major. What are we doing? to me too that he's able to just sit there cross-legged on that stool or bench piano bench maybe and just pop these notes out like it's nobody's business I feel like I would need to have my legs underneath me and be able to just move a little bit more he doesn't need that here we go I feel like I have talked through this song so much and I am sorry I am sorry that this is the rules that I have to stop and I'm trying to do it in a musical way so that I'm not stepping all over this gorgeous composition. Please promise me that you're going to do what I'm going to do after I'm done with this. You're going to go back and listen to the original video without me yammering away. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Well, that was incredible. Oh my gosh. Okay. <sighs> Let's deconstruct this one just a little bit more. That was awe-inspiring. I don't know what he is saying in this song, but 
It is so incredibly dramatic and beautiful. The orchestration on this track is incredible. Please let me know what you know about this composition because I am so intrigued by it. I'm also really fascinated by the instruments that are used in this video. I know the rain stick, but that's the only one I know. So if you could tell me what the stringed instrument is, what the wind instrument is, that he's playing because even the way it's coming up to his mouth is really interesting. It's not like he's fully blowing into it, but it gets a really cool panpipe kind of sound. And the way they have these instruments mic'd as well, the effects they have on them, really gripping. I love the range of dynamics that Dimash is able to sing in, even just in this first little section of the song. He starts out with a really strong forte, even a fortissimo dynamic marking. And then winds his way all the way down to something that would be more like a mezzo piano dynamic marking. There's so much drama in this song and so much feeling and emotion. It's interesting going back and listening this time through because I'm recognizing there's repetition to the song. You can hear the verses and choruses coming back around to be sung again. I didn't notice that the first time through and I think a big part of that is because of the way Dimash communicates the lyric. What he's doing with his dynamics, what he's doing with his voice, it just made the whole thing sound through composed or, or just fresh the whole way through. I love the whoa part of the song where he's just singing in this really relaxed way but yet getting this incredibly gorgeous tone and intensity. builds and grows into the second section of it. And I just want to point out here how relaxed he is. He is so relaxed. It's like I said earlier, I can't imagine sitting cross-legged and singing the song, yet he does it because he has such great grasp of his breathing, which is fueling his sound, and his voice is so balanced and so cohesive and integrated. It's one unit, so he doesn't have to fiddle or worry about any of that. It's all just going to be so connected and so free because he's worked on it so long and so hard. <laughs> I love everything about this song. The way Dimash sings, the beautiful instrumentation, and just the experience you get as the listener. <laughs> Well,
well, that's it for me today. Like if you liked it, subscribe, and don't forget to share with someone you know loves Dimash Kuda Bergen. You can ask me any question about your voice in the comments down below, on my blog at voicelove.co, on Instagram at the Voice Love Company, and now on wizio.com. Get all those details in the description box below. Wow, I am so blown away by this performance today. What a treat to get to listen to Dimash any day of the week. I hope that you are continuing to find your voice and make your sound in the world today because the world is waiting, literally praying for what you bring. And remember, you are loved. Bye, guys.